Jack Rutel with Jill DeWitt. Hi there. Welcome to our show today. In this episode, Jill and I talk about GPS Made Easy. Parcelfact.com is here. Finally, Jill. Yay. Can you believe it? I can't, actually. uh, Before we get into it, let's take a question posted by one of our members on the LandInvestors.com online community. It's free. I love this question. It's short and sweet. (laughs) And it's really a question for you, Jack. It is, Milan asks, how do you do tax term deals? How do you do tax term deals? What do you think that really means? I like this short question too, by the way. I was hoping you would fill me in. (laughs) What do you think he means? I think he means, how do you... uh, Buy a, tra- a property for back taxes, you know, for the amount of the back taxes that are associated with it and sell it on terms. Okay. What or do you just think? sell it at all. Or just sell just, it at all. Exactly. Buying it on back, I'm assuming it hasn't gone anywhere. It just has associated back taxes on it. So if that's the situation, Milan, I don't do anything different. You know, I just take that, I just factor that in to my acquisition price. So if the, if I would normally offer, I don't know, $1,500 for the property and it's got $495 of back taxes, now we're talking like $1,000 for the property and I can tell the gentleman to, hey, that tax bill in your hand, throw it away. I got this. You know, you don't have to pay it. We're just going to factor it in. Hey, by the way, I don't recommend doing this at all. (laughs) <laughs> or that. Well, <laughs> I don't recommend buying just tax property, back tax property, unless you're oh. pretty, like senior in your career, you know. Well, okay, let me back up. I'm assuming <laughs> that it just popped into the mix because, you know, one of the things that we're real vocal about is we don't seek out only tax delinquent property, period, because that's a waste of time and money. But we don't take them out of our mailers they're they're mixed in there so if one pops up that hey look at this great property it's awesome and by the way it owes some money in taxes i don't care i'm just going to factor it in i have a calendly call related to this uh, not a calendly call but a you know a, a deal review call mm-hmm. tomorrow with a guy who's uh, started with us joe more than a year ago and he's done very well and he said in his email to me when he scheduled the call i decided to purchase tax liens and foreclose on them, you know, as my career. I've done a few. I love them. And uh, I'd like to kind of just talk to you about it. And I just, I emailed him back and said, I can't wait to talk to you about this because you've done everything right. You've done it the right, you know. And I love tax lien foreclosures, but not for someone who's brand new. It's pretty complicated. Right. That's fantastic. I can't wait to hear more about that, how it goes and and all that. So His name's Ted and you know exactly who he is. I do know who that is now. So very cool. If you have a question or you'd like to be on the show, please reach out to either one of us on landinvestors.com. Today's topic, GPS made easy. Partial fact is finally here. This is the meat of the show. (sighs) Joel, tell us as a pilot, first of all, what Uh, GPS is, global position uh, coordinates, global position satellite, I think. Oh my gosh! Are you, how funny is that? You're a what pilot. is the? I know, but who knows the exact terminology? You're making me look this up here. <laughs> uh, global positioning system. Oh, system. Okay. There you go. So that's hilarious. I remember you know, stuff. That's what's so. That's funny. That's true. You know, I I when I like every pilot. When you learn to fly, you don't get GPS. You learn the old fashioned way. You learn with a a rule and a watch and a map and you and you plot out your course based on it should take me six minutes to get here it should take me eight minutes to get here especially when you're really 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 learning and you and at six minutes when you see that thing you now you're looking down at the ground you know looking for the power plant or looking for whatever that landmark is that 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 mountain or, you know, something like that. Right. Um, that's, that's how you learn. Then when you, after you learn, you know, to drive a stick, then you get to go to an automatic and you get power steering and then you get GPS and then you get the self-driving car. 
that it's all different. Yeah, then eventually, boy, then you, eventually you just sit there and monitor everything. You really don't do anything, <laughs> which is – but that's way – I mean, you do stuff, but it's way down the road. So yeah. I do, did I tell you that funny story? I mean, do you, when my dad, when we were um, – because my dad was a professional pilot, and and when he was retiring from American, um, we were in the simulator. We got to the simulator for his retirement. And I remember asking him, "So what do you do up here?" Kind of thing, and it was so funny because he said, "You know, here's really what I do." He because when you're coming in, there's there's uh, micro there's uh, voices in the cockpit that kind of are telling you. He says, "You know, when you hear it, especially when you're coming into land, you hear fifty feet, forty feet." 30 feet it really it counts down for you and he says when i hear 10 feet or i remember what that what that was then i kind of just to with two fingers he pulls back a little bit and that's it i'm like you've got to be kidding me that's all that you, you know is really kind of funny you know there's of course more to it than that sure. but that was just you know funny thing that i just kind of wait for this and i kind of pull back a little bit here and that's a nice smooth landing there you go i'm like oh like my your, gosh just like your land career totally my land career yeah <laughs> True, especially now. I mean, so that's it. I I talk to people, Jack. This is this is perfect segue into the parcel fact. I talk to people right now on the phone, and it's kind of like how do I say? They don't. It's almost. It's they can't quite understand the how hard we used to have to do things. Yeah. And how, where we are now. And I love it when I talk to people that used to have to go to the county and get stuff. And then they go from, they go from calling a few counties and working with a VA and wasting a lot of time and a lot of money to try to get a, a right. Yes. Is that speaking from experience? Yes. (laughs) There you go. (laughs) The last part of the nineties, I, I, uh, wasted for, on everybody's behalf, everyone listening to this, I wasted five years of my life figuring out how to do this properly so you can do it. Exactly. So, you know, learning how to get the right data and scrub the data and get it into a mailer and get it out. You know, now we just go, oh, that's easy. I can do it in two hours on a Sunday next. You know, you it's it's almost like I'm doing them. I feel like I'm doing a little bit of a disservice. I'm like, you don't know how how great this is. It's really hard the other way. So I love it when I talk to people that have gone, oh, my God, I just dealt with this county and it was a mess and this was wrong and it cost all this money and my VA screw it up. I don't even know what they sent me, you know, and, and it took me six weeks to get it, you know, and all that. I'm like, oh boy, can I save you? So right. now we're doing it with parcel fact and boy, I, it's so nice. I mean, I remember it wasn't that long ago, less than 10 years ago that I'd sit there for hours I know. staring, trying to, find, trying to a find a property. property. So here's, oh, let me, let me set this up. Here's a yeah. You send about a, a bunch of offers out. You've done everything right. You send a bunch of offers out, unsolicited, undervalued offers to rural property owners, let's say in Northern Arizona. All right, a couple thousand go out and you get a bunch back. They, they're signed and th- and so now you you open the mail and it says parcel one two three dash four five dash six seven eight. I would love to sell you this parcel. Thanks for sending me the letter it's for a thousand bucks. And so you jump up and down, and you say, "Oh my gosh, it works!" But maybe I should take a look at the property first on the internet before I get too excited. It might be really bad or it might be really good. So what do you do? <laughs> this is when Jill spent a lot of time trying to figure mm. this out. Well, you quite simply log on to Parcel Fact, type in the APN, and it tr- and it's in right there within a microseconds. You see the outline of the property. We we've devised a database of a, about 148 million properties that's updated daily uh, through an API. And I don't want to get all technical to do the every property in the country. Every single property, with the exception of a few states that are not participating. And if you go on the site, you can see which ones are not participating um, very, very quickly. So it it converts an APN or an assessor's parcel number to GPS. Well, Jack, great. Uh, thanks for that's yeah, thanks for telling us. But I can do that on Google Earth. Well, you can't. What you're confusing it with potentially is typing in a physical address, a mailing address. And the vast majority of the properties in the country don't have a physical mailing address like 123 mm-hmm. Main Street. By the way, we included that on uh, Parcel Fact anyway. 
just mm-hmm. in case because Joe and I buy and sell a lot of houses too and it's it's easier yeah can you do it on uh, Google Earth but all you get is the center point on Google Earth you don't get the that's it you don't get all the corners and there could be 19 points you don't get be that 9,000 exactly you don't get that you also don't get the ownership data that is huge Correct. for me too now I don't have to okay great even if I had well, you get a tool where I could fact. find let me, it let me be well, yeah you get yeah, it with personal fact that's ahead. what I'm saying so yeah, with parcel fact now, not only can I put in an APN or an address and I get that, I can also pull up, oh, there's the owner's name, there's the owner's address, there's the, you know, tax situation, there's the zoning, there's the property size. Oh, look at how many bedrooms, how many baths. I can see all of that for, it's just Oh, it's a game changer. Every single piece of information the assessor has, all this is is just a regurgitation of, of the assessor's database, whatever, 3,200 assessor's databases in the country. You have it right at your fingertips and just blow through it on a nationwide basis. It's truly amazing. But back to your original point, it's like we make it look so easy. Mm-hmm. It used to be you have to get the plat math and then try to figure it out with Earth Point or whatever else. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I remember. Remember? Oh, that's exactly it. I'd sit with a plat map and I'd try to find a road. That was that's that's old school, man. I try to find. Yeah, it looks like that. That's the same road. Oh, OK. Got that one. And you still can't. You could never be 100 percent accurate. You know, I could get a real good feel of what I think the area is. And but I never had. It wasn't exact, yeah. and now it is. And it's just like, like I said, this is a game changer. I mean, the time and the money, this saves me and my team and everybody in our world is just, it's staggering. Yeah. So I know right now it's just, it's, we are um, days away from this getting out. You know, I, we, <laughs> so you know what I mean? Well. We just, we just launched it and it hasn't really been promoted yet, but wait till people start hearing what this is. Oh. They're going to be like. What the heck? It's getting promoted, believe me. It, okay. we, haven't, we, aren't, we haven't lifted the lion gate yet, but yes. That's, yeah, we haven't like really, because I know you're, 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 uh, we had, you know, it's, it's, it's ready though. So man. It's free right now. I mean, it's, it's for a very short amount of time. It's, it, you get five polls for free. So, and people are taking advantage of that by the hour. I'm getting a lot of positive feedback. I don't know if you are too. I am. I see it too. It's just, it's just a lifesaver. It's just one of those things. I remember, I remember when we first started Land Academy, you know, that was a big deal. And, you know, and that's, maybe we should explain too, that's kind of why we're here. Um, that was a huge thing that people came to us with, where I said, all right, what are your big hurdles now? You guys are obviously in it. You know, we have a lot of people doing, you know, real successful and we're all over the hump, you know, so what, what's next? What can we help you with? And Gosh, so many of them came back with engineering. I need help engineering. I need to find these properties faster. I need maps. I need photos. I need, you know, I need it to pop up here on Google Earth for me. And so, Jack, you guys did it. Thank you. Dude, you're welcome. I'm you're so welcome. There's happy. a bunch of other cool features on it, but at the risk, this is starting to sound like a commercial so oh. <laughs> i know oh, it, but you know what it's okay no i mean it's not no, it's just... both of us because we're just excited you know? oh i am i've been using it for the property that we buy we just did a really large acquisition and it took me 20 minutes to look up every single property save the you know save the uh the maps entirely download the maps and get it ready to sell property that's that's the real the real value that's funny no i don't mean it to sound like a commercial i feel bad you know what it know what it is for me it's just like i want everyone to know that if you're in this business this is not what you should be spending your time on yeah you should be a deal maker you don't need to be spending your time you know you personally if you're the head of your business you don't need to spend eight hours trying to find a property and trust me a lot of us have right you know and so you need to be automating things and this is one thing that you should automate you know and find a better way yeah don't well said thank you join us in another episode where jack and jill discuss how to use information that's me and inspiration, that's me. To get just about anything you want. We use it every day to buy property for half of what it's worth and sell it immediately. You are not alone in your real estate ambition. Yeah, man, I'm excited too. 
Yeah, sorry. I didn't, mean, I didn't know. I don't mean to be coming off that way. I'm like, I'm not trying to sell the thing. I'm trying to tell everybody we solved a problem. That's it. <laughs> so seriously, that that's all this is. We have all our members and all the things that we keep doing and even the show. I mean, the reason we do the show is we're solving problems and helping people. Right. I know from tons and tons of feedback and email that I get that we have a lot of people that are actually – in this world and further along in their careers, not in our community at all, but they just listen to our show and it's helped them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I think it's fantastic. Me too. That's why we're here. Yeah. Information and inspiration to buy undervalued property. 